the people of the cross. We are the people of the We cross. choose Christ and count all else as loss. We are the people of the cross. Good morning. This is Pastor Michael Scott from the desk of People of the Cross Church, located in Los Banos, California, on Highway 152, in the shopping center to where Baskin Robbins is. is. We're just across the parking lot from them. You can come and treat yourself to God's Word and then go across the way and treat yourself in another way. We'd like to invite you to come and visit us at any time. You may visit us and decide to make this your home. We would hope so. We want you to know that we preach and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ according to King James Bible straight from this word. We don't deviate from what it says. That is what we're about. And we're about seeking souls of the lost and people that need God, Jesus Christ, and get to know him. Because we're already there. We just have to keep ourselves there. But there are people dying without him each and every day. That is our reason, our purpose coming to you on Facebook and YouTube and whatever channels that we have available to us. We want to come to you each and every day and give you a little bit of God's word and let you know how much you are loved. Today, I, I uh, am taking my text from from Luke. It says, Mary, Luke chapter 2, verse 19, says, Mary kept all the things and pondered them in her heart. Can you imagine? But Mary kept all those things and pondered them in her heart. Thinking about means that the thoughts about them all constantly and wondering and not wondering or wondering about her son, Jesus Christ. And knowing when he was born and when he was birthed, as a Virgin Mary, knowing the simple fact that there would be a day and a day very soon in his life that he would be taken from her. But knowing the fact that he was the Redeemer, he was Jesus sent by God. He was the only son of God. And he came to this earth to live a life spotless, without a blemish that no other man can do. He taught and he preached on this earth until the day that he was crucified because they didn't believe to who he was and what he was. But I'm here to tell you today, he is our Redeemer. He is our salvation. He is our soon coming King. And those that are ready will go up to be with him in forever in eternity in him in heaven. But I am here to preach or teach to those love of Jesus Christ. As I've already did one day this week of talking. But Jesus, God sent his only son on this earth. That died for your sins. And all we have to do is ask and be forgiven. I'm going to talk to you here just a little bit. It's talking about us parents and our children. Parents love to remember the development and the milestones in our children's life. There's many things that we can think about and it just makes us smile, even though it's been 30, 40, 50 years. I often think of one of my son when he hit the, hit the steps and knocked out that front tooth. He just went crazy. He thought that was the biggest thing in the world. And me, I'd have to go down and spend hundreds of dollars to get a new tooth, thousands to get a new tooth put in. But he thought it was funny. There's just many things that we can think of. Or my other son, I'm going to be winner again. You know what? I'm going to take that saying, and you can be a winner by joining the army of Jesus Christ, becoming one of him, be one of his children today. Oh, that would make me so happy to know that something we have said or done through this uh, ministry, that you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, and we would love to have you here at the church. But I'm going to go on, though they, they will record in a baby's book, when their little ones first roll over, when they crawl, the first steps, often they will take many photographs and save and bring back memories and precious experience that we have with our children. Those are all great. But I want to tell you, there's another precious moment that Jesus wants to do for his children. And that he would left us in to have you enter his foe. According to Luke 2 and 19, Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, kept a baby book of sorts in her heart. She treasured the promises that had been given about her son. Promises from God 
about her son. Can you imagine that the son that you bore, that you had born to, the mother of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world? I, I don't know how I could ever sit still to know that that was my son. That is so precious to me, but also knowing that she's going to have to give him up means that she pondered. The Greek word ponder means placing together of comparisons. Mary had heard of great things and concerns of her son from angels and shepherds that always taught her. In, in chapter 1, verse 32, 2 and 17 and 18. And as his life unfolded, she would compare those promises with how her son acted and fulfilled them. You know, God's give us a promise. And Jesus kept his promise. Our faith will be strengthened and we will be encouraged when we meditate on what scriptures say about God and comparing it with the ways he works in our lives. John talks about different things in, in chapter 14 and 21. He is God who answers prayer. John 1, 5, 14 and 15 comforts us when we're suffering. Oh, what it is to have a comforter there. People that don't know and don't understand and don't know about God. I don't know how they make it when I need a comforter. The Holy Spirit is there to be my comfort and to be my guide. Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 1, 3, and 4, and he provides for our needs. He is there. We will never have a need that he will not fulfill. When we serve him, we may not have the new cars and the boats and motorcycles and the big fancy home, but you will not ever have a need that God will not fulfill and take care of your need for you. Sometimes we think he's a little late, but I got news for you. God is never late. He's always on time. He sometimes takes these things to teach us about him. Teaches us patience. Teaches us love and kindness. It says when we take time to ponder, we will see faithfulness of our goal, of our great goal, through our great God. Ponder for sins and peace that endureth. We talked about peace at church today. God is peace with all understanding. And he doesn't leave us without it. If we will allow him to take up our cross and bear, it for, uh, bear our cross, he gives us the peace for it. We don't have to do it. He does it for us. That's so wonderful, I think. Thy own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strengthen for the day bright hope for tomorrow, blessings all mine, with ten thousands besides. We have received thousands and thousands and thousands of blessings from God, but I'm here to tell you that his love, his mercy, his grace is forever, and he will never leave you. So remember, no matter how many hundreds or thousands of issues that you have, that God is with you each day because he loves you. He wants you to be in his fold. He wants you to follow him. He wants you to be part of his family. And we can be his brother. So just know Jesus died for your sins. So that you can have eternity in heaven. God bless you from the desk of the Pastor Scott of People of the Cross Church in Los Banos. God bless you. Until tomorrow. We are the people of the cross. We are we choose Christ and count all else as lost. We are the people of the cross.